Hi guys. Are you getting a puppy? Well, we are getting a puppy here at our household. And I thought that it would be very helpful to put a video up about all of the puppy goodies and essentials that you might need for your new puppy. Due to everything that is going on, I ordered um, all of these puppy goodies online. I got most of it from Amazon and then I got a little bit from Petco as well. I will leave everything that I can find linked down below in the description. The most important thing that you need for your puppy is the food. Disclaimer, different people uh, believe in kibble, feeding their puppy dog kibble, um, and some don't. They believe in feeding raw. We chose to go with a kibble, and from the research that I did, I found this to be um, one of the better choices for your puppy and or dog. So I got Taste of the Wild. Um, this is a grain-free puppy food, and it is the puppy recipe, High Prairie Puppy Recipe with roasted bison and roasted venison. And again, it is grain-free diet. So this should be good for our puppy, and I'm sure that he will like it. The next thing that you might consider getting are some treats. One of the options I got for treats was the Wellness Core Grain-Free Puppy Bites. These are beef and turkey recipe. Now these are going to be good for potty training, teaching them basic commands like sit. The next thing I got was for a treat for chewing. We all know that puppies like to chew. And the last thing that I want is for my puppy to chew on my shoes and my couch or whatever else he gets his mouth on. Now, I know those things might still happen, but hopefully these dream sticks will um, help curb that. And these do not have rawhide, and that's an important thing. You wanna make sure that you don't give your puppy rawhide. These are all of the food items that I thought were important for my new puppy. The next important thing for any new puppy are the food and water bowls. I picked up this. I believe I got this at Petco. Maybe PetSmart, I can't remember. Um, again, I'll try to link this down below, but it's a cute little uh, water and food bowl. It's got uh, kind of like a wood grain and then puppy paw prints. And then on the inside, it says water and food. So I thought that that was super cute. Then the next thing I thought was super important were these collapsible uh, water and food bowls. So they collapse down like this and you can clip them on your backpack. I thought that these would be super helpful if you're going on a vacation, um, you know, if you're going on a walk, to a trail anywhere, I just thought that these would be super helpful and super easy to just pop up if you need to give your puppy or dog food or water. So the next items I have up are um, a mixture of cleaning products. Some are cleaning products for the puppy and then some are for his accidents. So we all know we don't want to ask accidents in our house when we're potty training a puppy, but we all know that it does happen. And when it does, we have to make sure that those accidents get cleaned up, otherwise they will happen again. I got Nature's Miracle Advanced Stain and Odor Eliminator and so hopefully this is an enzymatic formula. And so this is gonna get rid of all of those pet and urine enzymes uh, so that hopefully he won't go in that same spot again if he does have an accident. Then these next items I got for bathing the puppy. I got mane and tail and body. So this can be used on um, pets like horses, puppies, and even people can use this. So I got the mane and tail and body shampoo. 
the conditioner, and I also got the detangler. You may be thinking, well, why do I need a detangler for my puppy? Well, depending upon the breed, you may find that that helps to get out any mats or prevent any mats. So, and I'm not going to tell you just yet what puppy we're getting. Maybe you'll see that in a couple of weeks. The next item that we need for our brand new puppy is a collar. This collar is from Bond & Co. It is just this gray fabric and it has this rose gold um, buckle. It's a nice sturdy collar. You also want to get a name tag for your puppy. Now, I haven't gotten this. I still need to order it. We were kind of indecisive on the name for our puppy, but I will be getting that ordered. But that is also very important so that you can have their name on it and you can have the number uh, on there in case that he gets he or she gets lost. The next thing you would want for safety is a leash. The next thing that I have are these puppy uh, waist bags. I do, you will need lots of those. I have a huge box of them downstairs, but I didn't want to bring them all up. But these little, and these are um, compostable. So then the next item that I have is a treat pouch. This is really, really nifty. So in on the back here, it can clip onto your pants or you can you wear it as around your waist. I got this part here and you can take these things off as well if you want to. But you can wear it around your waist. You could also wear it kind of as a purse. Again, all of these little uh, gadgets do come off so you can just wear it kind of as um, like a little pouch on your pants. Then there's a compartment back here for your doggy waist bags. It just zips open and then you can put them in there. Then there's this area in here and that is for the treats. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys the brand. This is Paw Lifestyles. There's a little pouch up here. You put um, your phone, whatever, in there. And then there is an area right in here for keys, whatever else that you need to put in there. So I thought that that would come in handy uh, when taking Puppy out on walks. Um, you know, there's it's always, always, always a good time to to teach the puppy, um, you know, com different commands, train them, use every opportunity that you can. And so therefore, this is in my book a must, is a puppy treat pouch. And now the fun part. What puppy doesn't love toys? So I got my puppy a tire with some rope. It might be a little big for him right now, I th I'm thinking, but he'll grow into it. And I have no doubt that he will love this. So this is pretty nice. Then I got him a Kong Low Stuff stuffed animal. You can put, um, oh, and it has a squeaker. And it says that it has extra interior layering for added durability, less stuffing for less me mess. Uh, and a long flat shape for shaking and thrashing fun. And then it is squeaky as well. The next toy that I got for my puppy is a, by Best Supplies Inc. It's a stuffing free fun skin dog toy. And it is a little duck. And then along the line with chew toys because I don't want him chewing on my shoes or my couches if at all possible. I got a deer antler. This is a medium split deer antler and it's naturally shed. So now that we have walked with our puppy, played with our puppy, fed our puppy, and bathed him, cleaned up his messes maybe, we also need a place to take a nap and keep puppy safe. So I have a 
dog crate here and I will only be putting puppy in this you know when he needs a little quiet time to himself this will never be used for a punishment um, or anything like that and then the other time that a crate is good is for when you can't watch puppy and the last thing for puppy to be comfortable is a dog bed and I got this one it is a Quiet Time Deluxe Ombre Swirl Pet Bed, and it is so soft and comfortable. I have no doubt that my new puppy will love this bed. These were all of the puppy essentials that I thought were important when getting a new puppy. You know, I'm sure that I've missed out on some, and if I have, let me know below. Let me know what you use, what you think is important, and what maybe you wouldn't use at your house. Um, you know, there are, there are many ways to raise a puppy, and I surely don't know all of them. Last thing that I wanted to say to you guys is that this channel is going to be all things puppy related. Um, from the time that my puppy is growing from a puppy up to a adult dog. I'm going to show when we first get him. I'm going to show you when we go to the vet and when we're training puppy. So again, all things puppy from day one. Make sure to like and subscribe because there will be a puppy coming home video in the next couple of weeks and you wouldn't want to miss out on that. Until next time, have a great day. Bye guys.